Our modern society is proud of recent scientific advances and incredible technological breakthroughs. We have undoubtedly come a long way and we hear almost every day of new effective high-tech products that are meant to improve our lives. Yet, every now and then we come across some ancient forgotten artefact that makes us stop and reevaluate the world we are living in. Are we really so smart? Maybe we don't give the ancients the credit they deserve. Perhaps some of our inventions are nothing but reinventions and things that existed in the distant past. The telephone was officially invented in the 1870s when two inventors, Alicia Gray and Alexander Graham Bell, both independently designed devices that could transmit speech electrically. Both rushed their respective designs to the patent office within hours of each other. However, Alexander Graham Bell patented his telephone first. Gray and Bell entered into a famous legal battle over the invention of the telephone, which Bell eventually won. Most people are familiar with the story of Bell and his invented telephone. What many might not know is that 1,200 years ago, a simple society with no written language used a device that was similar to the telephone. In the National Museum of the American Indian Storage Facility in Suitland, Maryland, there is a precious object that could be the earliest known example of the telephone technology in the Western Hemisphere. This is unique. Only one was ever discovered. It comes from the consciousness of an indigenous society with no written language. The marvel of the acoustic engineering, cunningly constructed of two resin-coated receivers, each three and one half inch long and cotton twine cord extending 75 feet when pulled taut, the dazzlingly innovative culture was centered in the Rio Maca Valley in northern Peru wedged between the Pacific Ocean and Western Andes. Smithsonian Magazine reports the Chimu Empire's capital was in Chan Chan in the Mocha Valley. It was an impressive ancient city. Chan Chan was the largest agricultural city in pre-Columbian America. The remains of this vast city reflect in their layout a strict political and social strategy. Based on what is known, in 1470, the Chimu were conquered by the Incas, the Chimu were a skillful, inventive people and they were the first true engineering society in the New World. The Chimu telephone artefact has a mysterious past. Somehow, no one knows under what circumstances it came in the hands of a Prussian aristocrat. A shadowy Indiana Jones type adventurer, Von Scholler began excavating in Peru during the 1930s. The telephone was a tool designed for an executive level of communication. Maybe they were forbidden to speak face to face with contacts. The Chimu telephone is an excellent example of showing our ancestors had ideas and inventions that in many ways are similar to our modern ones. Just like the Chinese scholar Zhang Keng created an instrument that could determine the direction of an earthquake. 